Alrighty guys, back with some Marvel's Avengers video. So we have here today is uh the Winter Soldier, which I'm really hyped for. So I can't wait to see what uh let me actually delete this off my thing. Um there we go. <laughs> Um, the, uh, some cool stuff, man. So, uh, we have the Winter Soldier. So it says here, Hi, Avengers. Time to pull back the curtain and on the upcoming, the cert on the curtain, that might be curtain or certain, on a certain, pull back on the curtain, I'm going to say curtain. A certain would be E-R. Okay, yeah. The curtain on the upcoming 2.7 update, they'll be adding both Conan Labs, Omega Level Threat, and the Winter Soldier as a playable hero. I cannot wait for this. The mega level threat. As seen as no as saying it in the no rest for the wicked, Monica has revived but was unable to bring him under her control. The monstrosity's genius is now taking over Bring back Modoc, I said I'm gonna say. The monstrosity genius are now taking over AIM, Clone Labs, the most precious base of source of clone villains that, that plagued the Avengers. The same two villains. Please bring in cross to the villain sector. My god, what is so hard about getting that? Um, to be honest, that spider fight in the beginning of the raid, guys, should have been crossbones. I don't care what no one says. He should have been that boss fight in the beginning, stopping them, and you have to defeat him. <clears throat> My goodness, it would be so fun to fight him. Um, I love his mechanics, by the way. He wasn't just like, you know, you hit, he had, you had to stop something from maybe doing something. Maybe you had to explode, maybe you had to stop him from exploding the mine, the part of the mine you have to get in, so claw can finish what he's doing. You got to stop him before that happens. So, um. Um, uh, that that plagued the Avengers, that plagued the Avengers, the clone villains. For Modoc intends to take back up his crusade against the power Avengers and must stop it once and for all before he can put his plans to action. The Omega Level Threat is a new in-game challenge headline that is called Climatic Com Confrontation with the Deranged Genius to end the danger once and for all. The, the lab is challenging aim base. The lab is, is a challenging aim base that players will nav have, will navigate before facing the off once one last time against Modok. A grand multiplayer fight. Modok has developed new tactics since players confronted him in San Francisco, and is designed to test our new heroes. Our, I mean, our new our heroes in the four against one fight. As an all T Conan Labs, there will be there will be enemies around to kind of distract certain here. They're not gonna. Just, I don't think they're gonna have just him. Uh, maybe aim robots or something. As an all T Conan Lab designed to push the team four of, of four high level heroes, though it will be similar accessible length to our previous LT clan reunion. Clone Lab requires a pile of one seventy five to enter. Will reward both new gear and high level gear before with a new power level cap increase to 185. <laughs> Watch, take like six months to get all the heroes back to what they need. Like, they're going to slow down the time getting even more, guys. Just wait. Just wait to see. Just wait. <laughs> so I can't wait for this, guys. I'm just kidding, by the way. So the Winter Soldier, Scott Porter joins our expanding Avengers cast. So let me say that again. Expanding. They keep, they're gonna keep doing this as long as they make money from you guys. You guys, you guys are gonna buy that Civil War skin. You guys are gonna buy that Winter Captain Winter Skulls Soldier skin. You know you are. Ain't no freaking way you're not buying it because everyone's getting. That's the one most requested skin I bet everybody wants because I'm gonna ask for it. So it is one of the most badass skins. Gonna ask for the Infinity War skin. Gonna ask for the. Uh, I think it's a white wolf skin. I think it's one of them that he has, but they, they scrapped it. In the day, you're going to ask for these skins. You're going to ask for the one from uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier where he has a short haircut and he has that new outfit. So definitely people are going to, they, they're going to give us those skins. It's going to be all, don't you worry. You're going to get those. <laughs> So, so Scott Porter joins our expanding uh, Avengers cast as Cap's old sidekick, James Buchanan Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier who has escaped captivity and rejoins his friends and allies. Scott is well known from Friday Last Fr Friday Night Lights, uh, Harks of Dixie, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Avengers Assemble, and reprises his role as Bucky from Lego's Marvel's Avengers. He has played. He, oh, sorry about that. We can't wait for you to see him take on his bunch of soldier, and you will first hear his work in the upcoming Soldier Motion comic. What's Soldier Motion comic? Which I'm not really excited about because it's just 
<sighs> okay. Here's some uh, combat details about the Winter Soldier. The product of a Soviet black science program, the Winter Soldier emerged as a master assassin. He has to the roster almost a purely assault-focused hero, hero-focused, on dealing damage. So he's a damage-based hero, guys. His enemies in a variety, and people are going to try to make him glass cannon, I can see it now. Uh, his enemies in a variety of ways. Players will find him multiple different builds and play styles to embody. The character fantasy, from the range marksman to the expert hand to hand, Batten. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Uh, to a deadly super soldier. Come to the deadly super soldier. Well, echoes Bucky's past training. I'm sorry about that. Training uh, partners like Captain America and the Winter Soldier can be seen in some of his moveset. He has made them his own and combined them with skills that will flow with the Winter Soldier into an Indino Cronation. I think I said that wrong. I'm not going to struggle to say it. And his cybernetic enhancement with that arm. I cannot wait to see what he can do with the arm, man. I want to know if he can grab. Uh, big enemies or something like that, maybe like a like a adaptoid or something, and slam them on the ground or something. He like jumps up and grabs them and like throws them on the ground. It'd be so freaking cool. Um, the arm should be used as a good a good defense mechanic. Maybe he could like block certain things with his arm or something. He'll block you know things from his body. He's able to like move or something. Like in the Civil War movie, he's able to block bullets and he's able to take a missile. He was able to think he was able to like tank a missile with his arm. It was so fucking cool. The player will find new animations, a new full skill tree, and a heroic ability all his own when they enter uh, mission, mission as a Winter Soldier. Now, uh, Miller said, please expect him. He's like an Echo Hero, so people are going to be disappointed. I mean, to be honest, I don't mind him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind some similar animations, you know, but as long as they feel different enough that I can play as them, like, I like, there has been different games where you, like, Injustice, no, like, I don't want people to complain, like, Injustice has, like, the same thing, it has different actors, and they have Echoes, like, skins, too, so, and that game is still not, I don't think it's criticized for that, so Injustice does it, there's plenty of games who does this, they have different characters, and, like, like, the Green Lanterns, you have, like, like, you have, like, John Stewart, and he just had the same moves as Hal Jordan, so, like, what is the problem here, you know, I mean, I took one the time, like, you know, I'm glad we getting somebody a new, a new hero you know like expect this from different now like like jane it's not going to be thor bucky it's not going to be a mixture between cap and uh black widow or maybe black panther um she -Hulk, incredible hulk she's a brawler maybe she has some maybe she was trained by widow or something they have some trained by widow or something maybe she left after five years so at the end of the day guys it's essential that we have some stuff maybe she was trained by thor maybe she has some thor combos uh before she Hulk. Um, maybe Bruce told her, told her how to control her rage. So it's certain things I like to see from the guys. But like Captain Marvel, I, she's gonna be a mixture of Thor and Iron Man. It has to be. She's gonna be a comic. She's gonna be able to do crazy stuff. So, yeah, man, just expect some of this, man. Um, uh, I expect Black uh, Captain Marvel to have like same comments as like Black Widow, though, where she able to do punches and kicks for her photon and blast and bio, bio binary energy. That's what I expect her to be. Be really cool. Um, alrighty, guys. So let's see. So it says, um, um, it knew but all its own when it enters winter. Okay, so Winter Soldier will also launch with his own heroic mission chain that sees the Avengers help him regain his confidence in his capacity for good and deal with the trauma inflicted on him by his captors. That will, that players that complete the, the mission chain will be rewarded the Bucky iconic outfit. It is good. Our next, our next up, Update past two point seven will continue on going, revisiting on and tuning to heroes that we started in two point six and can and continue in two point seven. This is an ongoing process continues to ensure that here every hero feels true fully heroic as one of Earth's Mightiest Heroes should. Spider Man and Hulk are my top two traversal heroes, bro. Spider Man needs more swing animations, please. Talk to Sony guys. There's no nothing Spider Man until next year. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna do something for Spider Man. Where the hell is Spider-Man takedowns? Where the hell is Spider-Man new animation? You guys are not working on Spider-Man. I know he's a Sony exclusive, but 
a PlayStation exclusive, but please, please, Spider Man needs something, a boost to his traversal. Like his swing animations, he feels stiff, he doesn't feel fluid. Raise the ceiling, please, everything. Um, we will continue to release more details about 2.7 as we get close to the launch, which is literally like a week, like, bro. Like a week away, <laughs> including one story, including one story's backstory, first look at Clone Labs, Alpha reveals, and more. Thank you for joining with journeying with us as an Earth Mightiest Heroes. I am stoked. That is beautiful, guys. Scott Porter's look at him, and it's a look at Bucky Barnes. So I, I need to hear his look at. Uh, I haven't heard how he sounds in Lego Marvel's Avengers, so I'm just gonna listen to his voice. Um, so we'll see, man. But. Alrighty, guys. This has been Marvel's Avengers uh, November update. We have the Winter Soldier. I cannot wait to see how this looks. We got Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Captain America. I don't know why they got that skin. Nobody likes it. Everybody hates it. I don't think nobody likes that skin, man. I, I want, like, um... I just put an end game skin, man. I, that's because ain't no... Ain't no comic one they're trying to do that makes him look slim and, like, 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 like Captain America, man. Like, this one for Bucky looks really good. People say he, like, he had, like, hockey pads on or, like, he looked kind of bulky. But, like, you know, guys, like, it's their design. He, look, I think he looks cool and badass with the arms. I can't wait. And that that, 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 that assault rifle, like, is going to be dangerous. So, um, yeah, man, can't wait for this. So, to aim, they're gonna, they're, I'm, I'm pretty sure the team is going to probably think of another enemy besides aim. I think it's going to be Ultron, guys. It's probably still going to be robots for a while, but Ultron is going to take over. I uh, wish people understand, like, you know, this part, this part makes development faster. And then when the Kree comes, they can just work on new Kree. And they say there's still Kree people around the world that we have to fight and stuff like that. And we can fight them, take them out. And then maybe we can have more villains and maybe criminals. They probably put criminals in the game. But the problem is they got to... They gotta, you know, hire people and some same voice actors, whatever. So, you know, matter as long as we get new enemy types, which would be really cool. But, all right, guys, hit like, subscribe button if you're new. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna edit it soon. It's gonna be up probably by noon or maybe, maybe even sooner than that. So, that's the close I'm gonna try to get to, okay? Um, all right, guys, I love you so much. And, you guys, have keep me going. Um, I'm, I'm going through some rough times right now, man. So, you know, don't worry, guys. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep, you know, giving you guys content I can. I got some more Sonic Frontiers coming out. So, all right, guys, we'll talk soon, okay? Bye-bye.